so today I'm going to do a demonstration called eggs in a frame. People call it a variety of different things, uh, eggs in a basket. Really it's just an egg that is in a frame of a piece of bread, which would be your choice of bread um, also. It calls for one slice of bread, a half to one tablespoon of butter, one egg, and then salt and pepper if desired. You're going to need um, a spatula, a biscuit cutter, as well as a butter knife and possibly a uh, cutting board also. And then the custard bowl to crack your egg into. But one of the main ingredients I don't have are my eggs that are still in my refrigerator. So I'm gonna grab an egg now and take that out too. So one of the biggest things you want to make your life easier also is to have your butter at room temperature or nice and soft so it's uh, able to spread easily on your piece of bread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my griddle at 375 degrees. If you don't have a griddle, this is a griddle here, okay, you can just use a skillet or a frying pan. There's different sizes of those too on your stove top. We will most likely be using the griddle in class due to the fact that I have uh, four freestanding ovens in the classroom. Uh, we have a wall oven that two groups uh, would have to use. So my first direction says to carefully crack the egg into the custard bowl. And why, the reason why you're cracking it into the custard bowl is to make sure you don't have a bad egg where there may be blood in it, which would mean that you wouldn't want to use the egg, or the risk of getting any shells also. So my hair is up, my apron's on, I've washed my hands, and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to crack my egg. Again, you can crack the egg on the side of the custard bowl on the counter. I'm going to do that carefully. And I'm going to carefully crack my egg and then I'm going, to, I'm going to place this on a paper towel I have over to my side. I'm going to make sure that I've got no shell in there because who wants to eat an egg with a shell? Next direction says to lightly butter both sides of the piece of bread. So I'm going to take my butter knife, which is the silver knife here. It's not that sharp, okay, so be careful with it anyways. You don't want to use the sharp little uh, small paring knives in the classroom. My butter is nice and soft, and the reason for that is so it's nice uh, and easy to spread. So I'm going to butter both sides of the bread. Now in class, you're going to have a biscuit cutter, okay? At home here, I forgot a biscuit cutter, so I'm going to show you a few different ways, perhaps if you were to make this at home, what you would use in place of a biscuit cutter, because you may not have one of them at home. So I've lightly buttered both sides. And then my next direction says, using a cookie or a biscuit cutter, what I'm gonna do is make a hole in the center of the bread. So you can use a measuring cup to do this. You can use um, any size cup. That size cup actually is too big. So I'm gonna go in back and I'm gonna grab another cup. So just anything, okay, that can make a form a hole. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make a hole in the center of the bread. There's my little frame for my egg and I'm gonna take my piece of bread. So my griddle is heating up, okay? My egg has been cracked. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be placing this on my hot griddle. Again, I've taught you in class how you can test a griddle. I'm not quite sure if we're ready yet because I do have a light on my griddle which should go off. So the test for that is to take a little bit of water, put it on your griddle, and if it dances around and it disintegrates, it means we're good. And it actually says that we're good to go. So I'm going to go with it. It says to place the slice of bread on your griddle. Hopefully you can see, so I'm gonna place that on. It then says to carefully, whoops, it actually says, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, just a small amount of butter in the hole and that's gonna prevent the egg from sticking. So that can brown very quickly, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna very carefully take my egg and put it inside where I've caught just my little egg in a frame or egg in a basket. You're also going to take your other piece of bread, okay, which has been buttered on both sides, because you want, want that 
to brown too. Some people like to dip um, their bread into the yolk. Again, you should be uh, cooking the egg fully cooked so there is no um, yolk that is runny because again, that can cause salmonella. So I would suggest that you cook your egg um, properly. So this is gonna take a few minutes. So like I showed you, um, I did have this cup, which is actually a measuring cup, it was way too big. I take this cup, anything you have that's round that'll cut a hole, you could even, if you don't have anything like that, you could just take a knife and cut it that way too. Two, say you have a cookie cutter, you could use a heart shape, you could use a tree shape, you could use a shamrock shape, depending on um, uh, what holiday it is too. So hopefully you're able to see, I'm gonna actually move my plastic cutting board to the side and I have my griddle here, and I actually see my egg is cooking. I'm gonna grab a spatula. So in class, again, I have large spatulas that I use for crepes like this. I have a smaller plastic spatula, and then a metal spatula, okay? So I'm gonna go with the smaller one. And again, you can check to see if it's browning. Just lift it up slightly, it's slightly browning. I'm gonna check this too. Again, your egg is gonna to continue to cook, and you wanna be careful when you do flip it over also. Again, it's a waiting process in class. Again, two people can be doing this at the same time. That way you have time to sit and eat. We're going to do the egg in a frame recipe um, as one of our first labs because it's nice and easy and everybody's going to make their own. So then if you were to go home and do this at home, you would know uh, what to do too. Unlike uh, other recipes, uh, we're going to be sharing um, different job assignments. This you'll do on your own, and we're going to be doing this when we get back from um, this time of the year, the holiday uh, break. So right now I am on vacation, and I am doing some um, YouTube video clips. So when we do get back to school, we can rock and roll and get into the foods uh, lab. So I'm going to check this and see. Oh, nice golden color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Nice golden is what I want, and I'm gonna do the same, and I'm gonna be careful. Okay, again, this is very hot, be careful. I'm gonna get totally under. I'm gonna flip it, and I'm gonna flip it nice and quick. Look at that nice golden color again, and I'm gonna to try to show you so you can see that nice golden color of the egg. And I see that my yolk did break when I flipped it, and that's okay. Uh, you can also put some salt and pepper if desired. Um, onto the egg either before or after when you're ready to eat it. So again, it's just going to be a waiting game. I'm going to grab a plate. Again, we'll be trying to use paper plates in class um, to make things easier for cleanup. I did choose to put the piece of bread in the middle because I am only making one. So in class, I would have one person work side by side. Let me just quickly show you. I should move so i would say i would have one person here okay and then one person over here on the other side that's getting golden and again the griddle my griddle at home may work a little bit different than the griddle in, in school i started at 375 you can always bump it up a little bit if it's taking a little bit longer but what you don't want is for it to burn so i'm going to just check my other side Looks well done. See, my yolk is hard here. It should be, I'm gonna just check. And I look fully cooked, okay? And there we go. So I'm gonna say there is my egg, and I'm brown on that side, and there's my little piece. Why waste that other piece? Let me just put this to the side. And again, say you like some salt and pepper, put a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't like to put a lot of extra salt on things, so just a little bit, and then you would eat it. Okay, so this is your egg in a frame or egg in a basket. Hope uh, you enjoy this in class, or maybe you can make it at home with your family. Okay, so again, you can see me at Naomi Sour uh, on YouTube. That's N-A-O-M-I Sour, S-A-U-E-R. Looking forward for, for you watching um, some more video clips. I hope you enjoy.